Now at 11, electrocution. It looked like fireworks, like, <laughs> like going everywhere. A South Florida teen killed at a local power substation. It happened late this afternoon in the area of Northwest 47th Avenue and 4th Street in Miami. Good evening, I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. The teenager had apparently hopped a fence to try to retrieve a basketball. CBS 4's Summer Knowles joins us live from the scene. Summer. Well, that's exactly right, Rick and Erica. Friends of his tell me that they were all hanging out at a basketball court literally on the other side of this building here at Kenlock Park when he hopped a fence right over here at this substation, FPL substation, to try and get that basketball. They said literally he went over that fence and moments later he was electrocuted. Bueno. He was a very good child. Muy obediente. And very obedient. Yo vivía para él. I lived for him. Mercedes Manessas says she spoke with her son Jesus just five, maybe ten minutes before getting a phone call informing her he was dead. Electrocuted Monday evening after hopping a fence at this FPL power substation on Northwest 47th Avenue near 4th Terrace. Friends say he was hanging out at the basketball court at Kinlock Park. And I guess that he went to get a ball because I saw a ball next to him when, when he was laying down there. There was a ball there. Andy Gonzalez and others say they only realized Jesus was missing when they heard a loud noise and saw flashing lights. It looked like fireworks. Like <laughs> we all ran up to, to the fence to look and he was there laying down and his body was smoking and then his uh, Clothes got on fire. Um, when fire rescue arrived, it was still energized, so it was not safe for the firefighters to go in there. So we had to wait for FNL to shut the grid down, making it safe for us to enter. Once that was done, uh, we determined that uh, he was already deceased. Kids in the neighborhood say Jesus isn't the first to hop the fence. And I've seen people jump it all the time for a basketball, and it sucks that someone would have to die that way. I've seen it before. I've seen my friends do it before, and it's dangerous. I know, but I've never stopped it. You get me? But now he and others say they'll think twice before getting near that fence or letting their friends get near it. It's a safety concern shared by parents. Yeah, I'm very concerned because that's why I don't really let my kids come to this part because the fence is not like too high, so any kid can just jump the the fence and go grab a ball or whatever it is. I mean, they don't know the uh, magnitude of the dangers that they are in. Now, when this happened earlier today, we did reach out to FPL for a statement, and this is what they released, saying our thoughts and prayers are with the family. FPL personnel, they are on the scene cooperating with local law enforcement who are working to determine what happened. And back out live here tonight, FPL says this substation, the Riverside substation here, they had to shut it down when all of this happened so that emergency officials could get on the scene and get to Jesus. And in the process, they had to cut off electricity to about 1,100 customers. But around 8 o'clock, all of that power was restored. For now, we're live in the city of Miami. Summer Knowles, CBS 4 News tonight.